Welcome to Barron Public Library's Friday Read Aloud. Today, I've got a classic for you. Not only did it win a Caldecott Medal, but it also is a perfect fit for our current weather. The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats One snowy morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out, like this. He walked with his toes pointing in, like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere and new snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. I hope you have the opportunity to enjoy our weather, have a snowball fight, build a snowman, go sledding. This is a time of year that's pretty darn short. Get out and enjoy it. But don't forget to stop by your library and pick up a few good books to read when you come in from all of your adventures 
and warm up with a good cup of hot cocoa. Find the magic of winter outside and in a book. Until next time, this is Miss Patricia. Keep reading.